In this recording, I'm going to demonstrate the preferred patient education workflow for meaningful use. The first thing you will want to be sure to do is make sure you have a this visit or diagnosis selected. In this case, I'm going to choose essential hypertension. I'm then going to go down to my patient education widget. You can see here that even though I selected a this visit, there's no education showing. In that case, you want to be sure and refresh this widget. You will then see a list of suggested educations. Please remember that you must select at least one education title from the suggested list in order to count for meaningful use. In this case, I'm going to select dash eating plan. You can see that shows over in the right hand column under added patient education. Now once you have selected at least one suggested education, you can go back and search for additional education titles, add a personal favorite, such as this case I'm going to add a blood pressure record sheet. There is no need to print the education materials individually, although you can do so if you'd like by clicking on the printer icon. However, if you select your patient education prior to printing your clinical visit summary, the education will print as part of that clinic visit summary. That concludes my tutorial on suggested patient education.